so we were in Cabo and now we're coming home and we can't go to Toro Santos this way because there was a blockade yeah. in the middle of the road. Yeah, they blocked the access to town. So we have to go La Paz way and then turn around and go through Toto's that way. We'll put a little picture on the screen. I have a picture. I actually took it from the internet and I'll show it to you. Um, and then I'll give it to you and you can take it on your phone, whatever. Anyway, I will put a picture on the screen here of the way we have to go. It's a little bit out of the way because we go up towards La Paz, then turn around and come back towards Toto Santos. But, at least we can still get into Toto Santos. We got all our supplies from Cabo. Went to Walmart, Costco, and uh, yeah, we hit the donut place. Home Depot. Home Depot. So, we got everything we needed. All our supplies, laundry, yeah, laundry's complete. So now we're heading home. Vivimos en La Playitas, which means we live at La Playitas. Yeah, and uh, they were not set up when we went when we left this morning, but it was early when we went to Cabo this morning, so that could be why. Somos locales, we are so, local. <laughs> As in not local, local. Yeah. Well, local. yeah, <laughs> well, <my> both. <laughs> Sometimes both, Papa. But yeah, so they. Um, now we know they are set up. Now we know they are set up in both that way to go to Cabo and this way to go to uh, La Paz. There's only two ways into to Toro Santo. Yeah, yeah. So. And they actually blocked off the other way. Yes. As in, there's piles of dirt across the yeah, road. Yeah, we we have pictures about that too. You can't even drive. Yeah. There we will show you pictures. We can we can show you because uh, you took pictures. I think I even took. Video. I might have took video. I think I took pictures for sure. But it's, anyway, it's we like, got in. It's like something out of an end of the world movie. It is bizarre. It is truly bizarre. Um, I don't understand because when you go into Walmart, when you go into Costco, uh, yes, people are keeping their distance, but there is still people. There's still people there. We're all breathing the same air. We are. We are touching things. We are. I don't understand. Anyway, we're gonna get oh. some. Oh, we're gonna get some water. I want to go to the hardware store, see if they're there. See hardware? if I can get a plug. Okay. For the sink. Oh, right. I'm gonna get plugged for the sink. Um, we found a tub. Yeah, <laughs> a, wash, a, tub. a wash basin. Anyway, so we're gonna get a plug for the tub. We're gonna get some water, and then we have to hit the local market. We're gonna hit the local market on the way home, and then we've got everything for another two weeks. So there you have it, three different stores, Costco, Walmart, and the market in Toto Santos. And we got all our produce and some homemade tortillas. That's from the, that's from the market. Freezer is full, got everything in there, hamburger, chicken, fish, 
and all the produce, fruit, eggs, huevos, and everything. And look at all the orange. I can't wait to eat these oranges. They are delicious from the market. So yeah, two weeks. Two weeks supply. Probably longer. Yeah, probably longer. We also got our laundry done. It cost us 300 pesos, but we love that lady. She folds them so nice and everything is so nice and clean. We usually give her 500, regardless of what she charges. Good morning, Maggie. She doesn't want to get up yet. So, when I get up in the morning, I usually make the bed, but Maggie is not ready to get up. So she stays on my pillow for a little bit. She's usually up. And I've had the coffee ready for the morning for him just to push the button. Which I did. Which you did. So now we have coffee. So I'm going to get myself some coffee. And Papa's going to tell me the word of the day in Spanish. What is it, Papa? Protegido. Here. Pro yeah, protegido. Protect. Protected. P would be Petra Petra P P So it's Pro Pro Is it P R O? Yes. Protehido. Okay. Protehido. Pro Prote protected. Protected. Alright. You want some coffee? I don't know if it's warm enough for you. I'll test it. I'll put it in my cup first. Mm. I'll let it warm up a little bit more for you, Papa. Okay. Make sure I warm it up on the stove. No, it's good. It's good. Uh, so, maybe do that. Then we can turn off the coffee pot. Save okay. the power. Exactly. I got up a little bit later this morning, and the coffee got cold. <laughs> So I'm going to heat it up on the stove, like Papa said, to... I can't turn off the inverter because you have the computer on, right? Correct, yeah. But just to save a little bit of power from the coffee pot, I'll turn that off and put it on some propane. Event is open, Papa. Excellent. So isn't that great? Having he usually event does open? this, yeah. meaning open the vent, woman. But it's already open. But it's nice to have one over the stove, and then it doesn't yeah. build up condensation. Yeah. And but also, I don't smell the propane. I notice that when I smell the propane, then I know the vent's not open. But on the agenda today is I'm having some coffee. I got up really late. I'm not even going to tell you what time. It was way past. It's not like we're going anywhere. <laughs> it's true. But look at this. We have orange plants, orange tree. Yeah. And we got some uh, soil yesterday from the, what was it, Home Depot? Yeah, Home Depot. Got some soil yesterday from Home Depot. And I have some pots already here. So we're going to plant these today in the pots outside. What are you doing today, Papa? I'm working. I'm working. <laughs> okay. So, pretty typical day. So, pretty typical day. We are uh, oh, no. we're doing our, our stuff. And then you can come join me. We're going to go feed the chickens and the ducks and the dog. And we'll plant our orange trees.
So typically, another thing we'd like to do in the morning is we will do Spanish. Uh, right now, Papa's working, but normally we either get up a video on YouTube, which we like is Butterfly Spanish, or the new one, it is um, Que Hora Es. It is uh, really good videos on Spanish. Highly recommend. Um, he is English speaking but his pronunciations are spot on. Also, we had taken a couple of classes, a month worth of classes, once a week uh, in January when we first got here. And we so we have a lot of notes, a lot of notes from the class. Uh, she also recommended a verb book, which we bought from the, uh, the store in Toto Santos, uh, the bookstore sold them so we picked up one, a couple of them one for papa and one for myself so yeah that's our typical morning and uh this morning's a little different because he's working but i'm gonna do some butterfly spanish and maybe maybe some more uh keora s i really highly recommend him hasta mañana no hasta mañana hasta luego because I need you to come with me when we plant the orange trees all right so let's go feed the animals and transplant the orange trees Hi, Nikrita. Good morning. Good morning. Let's go. Let's go see the babies. Let's go see the babies. There's Norman. Always tries to escape. He's the one of the chickens. Norman. Hi, baby. Hey, watch out now. Watch out, baby. Watch out, baby. Okay, I gotta get the water. Their food, they've got no food. You ate it all. Oh my goodness, you guys must have been hungry. I 
try and do it so they don't escape. Because they're getting, they're getting so much bigger now. I'd love to have them run around, but there's just too many animals around here that they might get hurt. You know, I'm sure Nagita would keep, keep an eye on them. All their water is disgusting. got to change that right now. Every day I change their water twice. Because the ducks bathe in it. Ducks like to bathe in it. I want to make sure that they have clean water. Right, baby? Hi, guys. How y'all doing? Yeah? Oh, that's great. We're going to wash that. We're going to wash those, okay? Can I have your, can I have your lid? Hey, madam? Hey, Greta? You have to move, baby. You're going to get wet. No, Greta, please. She's trying to help, but she doesn't realize that she's just in the way. Honey, you have to move. The babies are fine. I have to clean out their dishes. They're dirty. Can I have your water, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you. Very dirty. Watch out, baby. Negrita. I'm just going to wash them out because they're... I think while I'm at it, I'm going to uh, clean out a little bit of their cage. Uh, the straw got a little wet and it's getting kind of dirty. So we'll give it a little sprucing up. Okay. Some fresh straw here. So I'm just going to clean out their cage a little bit. What's great is all this straw that is uh, used, <laughs> I'm going to put it in the compost bin, which is, it's awesome because I need the dry stuff. I need something other than just food scraps. So it's a win-win. Now, the fresh water. 
water and food. There's Norman. Negrita's friend comes to the cage every time Negrita comes to the cage. It's adorable. Did I get the right one? Yeah. All right. All right. Norman, come here. Negrita wants to say hi. outside the cage, baby. They get scared when you come in. You have to say hi outside, okay? I know you love your babies. I know you love them. They're a good protector. Okay, I have to feed them now, babe. Okay? So we're going to give them some water. Got their water dishes. They probably want to have a bath. dishes. guys a little bit closer you can see them better okay well they like the first dish of water they're already swimming ready for their food. Hungry, hey? They're getting so big. Especially the ducks. I noticed the chicks too, but the ducks are 
are getting way bigger. We're gonna make them a little pond, I think. Right, Nikita? Can make them a little pond? Don't stay outside the cage. You know, no, they get scared, baby. You stay outside the cage. I know you just want to be their friend and you want to play. Norman likes you, but the other ones are a little scared. Yeah. They'll get used to you. They'll find out that you're the big mama. Now we got some fresh water, some fresh food, and now it's your turn. We're gonna we're gonna feed Negrita, baby. You're right in front of the camera. They they want to see the babies, okay? You have to go right over there. Thank you. See the babies? They're all eating and drinking now, and they're happy. Hey, wait. Oh, I forgot. Yesterday we got you a new water dish. I gotta bring it. I gotta bring it. Let's 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 hold them. I show you a I show you a duck. I'll get you the cheeky one. I'm sorry. Can I hold one of you guys? I want to show the people. Oh, well, you're nice and wet. No, Negrita. There we go. See. Look how big they are. The grandkids named them. We just don't know which one is which yet. Because they're all different. And you're so cute though. Hey, sorry. There you go. This one's cheeky. This one likes to bite. But they don't hurt. They don't hurt. And so soft. So soft. Oh. Hello, baby. Hi, sweetheart. You got some straw in your beak. Go clean that off. And here's Norman. This is Norman. One is a little bit redder than the other. I think one is a rooster. Okay, outside the cage, baby. Outside the cage. Outside the cage. Yeah. We told you. You have to stay outside. They get scared. So I think this one is Norman. That one. Because I think he's a rooster. I'm not too sure yet. Because these are the only ones that got red heads. This one here, this one I think is a female. Yeah, I think these are the roosters. The two with the red heads I think are roosters. I think this one is the actual chicken. Not sure yet. Not sure. So I don't know how to tell. I don't know how to tell which one is a rooster and which one's a chicken. If you know, that would be awesome. Maybe I should check it out on video. I said the word, I'm not going to say it again, but it shut the camera off. <laughs> but aren't they cute? It was a great Easter this year. New babies. Right guys? And they're definitely getting used to me being in here. As you can see, they're they're eating and drinking and not freaking out as much. They used to freak out so much when I was in here, but now they don't. You guys are awesome. You're eating so good. Getting so big. You're adorable. Look how big the chickens are. Like, this one was a runt. You guys are doing so good. And this is Norman. Hey, Norman. That's Norman. See the red? See the red on the beak? That's why I think it's a... Right there. I think it's a, a rooster. I think this one's a rooster. Yeah. This is Norman. Norman doesn't care. He's like, whatever, touch me. I don't care. Do what you want, lady. 
as long as you feed me and give me water. <laughs> he also loves Negrita. Okay, Negrita, let's go feed you now, okay? So there you have it. Everybody's fed, watered in here. And now it is Negrita's turn. Right, Negrita? Yeah, Negrita loves Norman. Okay, Negrita, let's get you fed now. We got squirrels, we got rats, um, other animals, probably. we probably even have rabbits coming here to eat your food. Yeah, we're not sure. Somebody was eating it, so we have to keep it in a bin. Water the plants with the cleaning wool. Four bowls of water and one big dish of food. And that's my morning, feeding all the animals.